Hey, dreamer. Sit back and relax. I'll take you to your next dream. What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? <sighs> Goodness sake. This is the fifth cup this month. When are you going to learn, stupid girl? Hey. I'm talking to you. Look at me. Look at the mess you made. You spilled coffee everywhere. That thing stains. <laughs> Look at this. You're bleeding all over the place. Don't move. Stay here. On the floor. Don't move until I tell you so. Give me your hand. I said give me your hand. Open it. Now stay still. Shh. I know it hurts. Just bear with me, okay? We need to clean your wounds properly. Otherwise, it can get infected. And I don't want you to be more useless than you already are. There we go. I'm wrapping the bandages around your head. <clears throat> yes, it has to be this tight. Otherwise, it will come loose and your wound is going to open again. Good. All right. I think that. What am I going to do with you? You're so clumsy all the time. I give you the simplest task, and still you manage to hurt yourself and make a mess. Yes, you're my maid, and you're supposed to serve me, not make my life. You got that? What? No. Leave it. The other maids are going to tend to this mess. You, on the other hand, I have something else in mind for you. Follow me. And don't lag behind. I don't like waiting. Right. I suppose you've never been in here. This is my private study. Close the door. Now, this is a duster. I presume you know how to use it. Good. Your new task will be to dust this entire room spotless. And you won't have a break until you're finished. I don't care how long it takes, whether you're going to spend the entire night doing it, I want this room spotless. Hmm. Do you understand? This is your final warning. You better do this job properly. 
otherwise I will have to let you go. Now, you are to clean everything except for that bookshelf. Listen to me, girl. Under no circumstances are you to touch that bookshelf. Do you understand? Good. Now, get to work. I'll be back in a few hours to check up on you. far along. Oh my god. No, don't touch. <sighs> I can't believe you disobeyed my only order. Are you actually stupid? Look at you. So fucking pathetic. Get over here. You know? I gave you a chance to work with me. And you this is how you repay me. Hmm? By making a mess, disobeying my orders time and time again. <sighs> if I don't know any better, I think you're doing this on purpose. You are, aren't you, girl? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, no. Really? Are you really trying your best? <clears throat> You're really, really testing my patience. You know that? <sighs> All right. I'll give you one final chance. To prove to me that you indeed want to serve. Get on your knees. <clears throat> Up we go. you not to touch that bookshelf. Then what did you do? Okay, yeah, you touched the book. Bookshelf, including everything inside it. Do I really have to be specific? God. Hey, you okay? 
Yes. You gave me quite the shock. You touch a very, very dangerous spellbook. It takes your desires and twists it into something sinister. You? You are lucky to be alive. I'll take you to your room. That's enough work for you.